Hello ladies and gentlemen, guys and ghouls. My name's Kevin and welcome to my channel The Art of Horror. Today's show is brought to you by the letter O. For old gods. I watched Blood Feast for the first time the other day. And whilst it's not the best film, it is apparently the first slasher film that was ever made. Made in 1963 and directed by Herschel Gordon Lewis. The film centres on a caterer that goes around killing women as he wants to use their body parts to rebirth an ancient god. And while it's not the greatest film, I did find it very entertaining. The blood effects in it looked like somebody splashed around a lot of red paint during production. But the reason I wanted to see uh, this movie was because it inspired a couple of other movies that I actually really like. The first being Blood Diner, a 1987 movie directed by Jackie Kong. Blood Diner focuses on two brothers who own and run a diner. They dig up their uncle Anwar, put his brain in a jar, bring it to life, and then once again go around collecting body parts to recreate an ancient ritualistic feast to bring back an old Egyptian goddess. And once again, this film is actually really bad, but intentionally bad, and uh, it is really good. With a standout scene of a girl getting her head deep fried, turning it into a giant deep fried ball. I won't give away what else happens though. But Blood Diner is definitely a film worthy of your time. Another unlikely film that uh, draws inspiration from Blood Feast is the 1996 film From Dusk Till Dawn, directed by Robert Rodriguez, written by Robert Kurtzman, and a screenplay by Quentin Tarantino. If you haven't seen it, it's an absolutely fantastic film. Starring Harvey Keitel, Juliette Lewis, George Clooney, and Quentin Tarantino. It also has appearances by Danny Trejo, and a cameo appearance by Tom Savini. Of course, the uh, great makeup artist. And probably, in my opinion, the greatest makeup artist that's ever existed. The first time I saw From Dust Till Dawn, I had no idea what the movie was about. I went in completely cold. I didn't even know it was a horror movie. And I thought I was watching a uh, gangster movie for um, pretty much the first half of the film. I really love it when you discover a good movie and uh, you have no idea what you're in for. It can be a real uh, emotional roller coaster ride. What's your favourite movie with a storyline revolving around the uh, revival of an ancient god? I think Ghostbusters, the original one of course, deserves a special mention here. The picture I'm drawing today is of some cult members summoning an ancient god out of human body parts. It's charcoal on watercolour paper with some watercolours as well, thrown in for the blood. It took about two and a half hours and I've squashed it down to about four or five minutes. I'm working on a, a new intro for the channel as well at the moment, trying my hand at doing a bit of stop motion animation with plasticine. And for my next couple of videos, I'll be working on a couple more subscriber suggestions, which I'm looking forward to having a crack at. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit the like button. As always, comment below. Especially if you have any suggestions on something you'd like to uh, see me have a go at. I'm actually really enjoying drawing your ideas, guys. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more from me, please feel free to hit the subscribe button for more. This has been Kevin for The Art of Horror. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye for now.